Hi everybody, this is Jared from Hacksaw Labs again. Uh, today I was going to show you a little trick for taking a model out of Pro-E and putting it into the open source program uh, Blender to create these really nice uh, 3D renders without having to pay extra for the Pro Engineer Advanced Rendering module. Okay, so to get started, um, just open a, a model that you would like to use, and you're going to create a copy of it. Let's see, place it on my desktop so it's a little easier to find. And you're going to export it out to the Wavefront format. So just say OK here. Uh, yeah, I've already created this, but I'm going to do it again. So here it's asking you, uh, select the datum plan or coordinate system to, to define the UV map. So really just pick any, any coordinate system or any plane. And then play around with these values here. Um, the angle control can go to 1. And then this one, you'll just have to play around with to basically find the, the smallest value, which, see it changed it there. So click Apply. OK. And now you've exported a uh, Wavefront object file out. So what you're going to do is open Blender. When you first open Blender, you have this uh, this generic cube. Uh, so what you want to do is right-click on the cube and just hit the Delete key and get rid of it. Then we're going to go File, Import, Wavefront File, and find it here real quick. And when I import it, I'm just going to say smooth groups. And I don't change anything else here, just import it. Okay, so now we're in, we have our model in Blender, and we're looking at it from a top view. Um, you can see the model here. Uh, this here is a light, and this here is your camera. And to select one, object or the other you use the right right click so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it over to camera view and this is basically when you render this is what what you're going to see and before we render or add some background and you know some other objects into the scene we need to take all these uh, little imperfections out of our, our model here. So how, let's see, to do that, select edit mode, make sure it highlights like this, and then say set smooth, and then switch it back to object mode, and voila, it's nice and smooth. Okay, so what we need to do now, first of all, we need to move this m model up a little bit so that it's not intersecting the, the ground plane. So to move it up, you just click on one of the direction arrows, move it whichever way you want to move it, and then click again to release. Now what we're going to do is add a mesh and we're going to add a plane mesh. And it's a little hard to see because it's underneath this fan model, but it's currently highlighted. And if you hold down S and drag, it'll make your plane larger. So I'm just going to make it fairly large. And what we want to do here on this, this plane 
we want to make the plane reflective. That adds a nice little effect. Uh, so to do that, go back to edit mode. Make sure. Oops, sorry. Yeah, make sure the plane is selected. Go back to edit mode. Go to shading. Add new. And then come over here to where it says ray mirror. You're going to highlight that. Change this value to about 0.7 and this one to about point one. Let's see now you have a nice uh, mirror effect going here and at this point you could render this scene and you would just have a uh, you know kind of a mirror ground and a blue background but I don't like the blue background so what I'm going to do is actually switch this back to object mode and add a cube and like I did before I just hold down S and keep uh, increasing the size of this cube until the camera and the light are actually inside of the cube so about right there should do it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a color to that cube just make it black and just for the heck of it give it just a slight bit of mirror okay so now our scene is pretty much set up um, one thing we do need to do just move this light object uh, just to kind of get it a little more centered over over our fan and then I'm gonna come down here to the energy slider and increase this to about two now all you have to do Let's go render the current frame. And within a matter of minutes, you'll have an image that looks similar to this. From there, all you have to do is just do a save as JPEG, and you're good to go. That's it for this tip. Hope you enjoyed it.